Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show we're taking a look at the Playmobil Back to the Future, Marty McFly, DeLorean Time Machine, Dr. Emmett Brown, and Einstein's 64-piece set. As you can see on the front, the Back to the Future logo, we've got the DeLorean Time Machine with Marty McFly inside. We've got Dr. Emmett Brown, Einstein, the Plutonium. We've got the Hover Conversion. Playmobil, Playmobil for six and up, number 70317. Here's a look at the side. Here's a look at the other side. We got Marty McFly on his skateboard. And then here's a look at the back where you see the DeLorean time machine and all its components, along with Dr. Emmett Brown. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this thing up and take a look inside. All right, so we've got the DeLorean time machine here. We've got one, two, three, four bags, and what looks like a battery compartment. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this for a little bit. I'm gonna build it, and then we'll be back to review the final product. All right, guys, so here we have the DeLorean time machine, Dr. Emmett Brown, Einstein, and Marty McFly from Back to the Future. And this took some time to, uh, not the putting together part, but the putting the stickers on part to it was pretty time consuming. I got it all put together, and then I realized that I probably should have put the stickers on beforehand. So little tip, put the stickers on each individual piece uh, prior to assembly. With that being said, let's go over all the, uh, all the figures and everything. So here is Dr. Emmett Brown's dog, Einstein. And as you can see, he is wearing his stopwatch from the movie. Uh, the paint could be better, but... I understand these uh, toys are meant for little kids. But overall, not too bad. Um, you know, Play Playmobil isn't really meant for adults, but m toys like Back to the Future, Ghostbusters, the adult collector is going to get them. <laughs> So, Einstein's articulation is his head is on a hinge. He can go look down. He can look up. Uh, his tail is also on a hinge. It can go between his legs. It can also come up to about there. And that's it for Einstein's articulation. Then we have Dr. Emmett Brown who comes with the remote control for the time machine. Uh, he also comes with this device right here. Um, it looks like a sticker is supposed to go on there, but no stickers are directed for it. Um, I've used up all the stickers from here. So I'm not sure. There's a little net crawling on my uh, green screen. So anyway, there's that. And it just goes around his head and arm. It's made of rubber. So, And there is a sticker that goes on the remote control. And as you can see, I'm not, I'm not that great at putting stickers on. Um, let's see if I can focus this. There we go. Yeah, I'm not super great at putting stickers on. I had to get a pair of tweezers uh, to put on the stickers. And <laughs> they came out a little crooked. And not too bad, but a little. Anyway, uh, Emmett Brown also comes with his tool bag right here. And it just clips on to his belt. And the belt does kind of slide up and down. Um, pretty good likeness of... Dr. Brown. Uh, it looks like his hair could come off. 
uh, but I'm not going to take it off. I'm not going to try in case it's not supposed to. <laughs> um, you got the hazard symbol on the back. You got his pocket protector and pins there. He also comes with two watches. He's got this watch here. If you guys can see the if my thing will focus. He's got this watch and he's got this watch. Um, as for articulation, his head does turn about there because of the hair. It stops it. Turns about that far that way. Uh, legs. Oops. <laughs> The tool bag did pop off because when the legs pushed up, it uh, forced it out of the clip. So we'll go ahead and put that back in, maybe. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. There. We'll just put it on his uh, chest like that. Um, so his legs do go up to there in a sitting position. Bring that back down. His arms go all the way around. Also, his hands turn. Uh, I'm. This is my first um, Playmobil set. So I'm not really too familiar with the articulation and everything. This is my first time... Uh, messing around with anything Playmobil, 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 other than when I was a kid, and they were those square figures with the round heads, um, kind of looked like Lego type things. Um, but anyway, I digress. <laughs> There's Dr. Emmett Brown, and he also comes with the plutonium container which I put the extra, comes with two extra uh, pieces of plutonium for the car, along with a few extra hooks. Um, and what I mean by hooks are these things here. So, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six stickers that go on it. Um, I'm wondering why they made this sticker separate from this one. They should have all just made it all one piece. But, oh well. So anyway, now, look at Marty McFly. He comes with his skateboard, and it's held on by this piece in the middle here. Just slide his feet out. And, as you can see... Madrid Valtera, <laughs> Valtera, something like that. And it just slides right back on. Um, the wheels would probably roll better if it is on a solid surface. Um, I've got my backdrop here, so the cloth is kind of stopping it from really rolling. Um, and again, his articulation is the same as Emmett Brown. Legs go up just like that, so he can sit if he wants to. He is holding the camera. Um, which just goes straight out like that. And he can only put it down that, about that far uh, because of how big it is. But anyway, his arms do turn, all, rotate all the way around. Uh, his head does turn to the side that far, that side that far. It does stop. Uh, seems to be because of the collar, apparently. So it does not turn all the way around. Uh, and he does come. Um, these portions of his sleeve that roll up uh, are actually a separate piece that just clips on there. So anyway, enough of the figures. Now let's take a look at the DeLorean time machine.
So here we have the DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future 1. It comes with the hook, which just kind of sits in there. Uh, you can take it out if you want to. It doesn't actually have to be in there. Uh, that's just the best place for it so you don't lose it. But we'll take that out for right now. And first things first, the doors do open. Just like an actual DeLorean. And it comes with this little piece right here that plugs in there. Um, that's for the time circuits, I believe. Uh, I can't remember. I don't know all the ins and outs of the uh, time machine. But yeah, that's that lever that Dr. Brown pulls uh, to get the flux capacitor going. Um, and we'll use Marty for this. Since he's the one that drives it most. Let's see, will it fit in there? Will he fit? <laughs> Guess the steering wheel has to be like that. Hold tight, guys. All right. So there's a little spot, just like on the skateboard, um, where the feet have to go around. And then you can fit them in there pretty well. And he is pretty snug. But the doors do close with him in there. So that's good. Um, I'm not sure. It does. Let's see if Einstein can fit in there since Einstein was the first to go back in time or actually to the future um, so no Einstein does not fit in there that well at all <laughs> um, yeah he, he doesn't fit in there uh, which is disappointing because he was the first dog to time travel the first character in the movie to time travel at that. Um, unless, of course, you count um, go, Marty going back to the year of the 1950s and coming to the future, then Marty would be the first person to time travel. Uh, but I, I count... Einstein as the first character to time travel in the movie. Uh, anyway, doors go back down. And now <clears throat> the flux, the uh, plutonium, it does come out just like that. As you can see, I didn't put that back sticker on that great. Uh, this was before I got my tweezers out. <laughs> and by the time I did that, I had already put this engine back in there. And it was a pain to pull this out to begin with. I had to use a screwdriver and lift up on it. And I was even doing that, I was afraid I was going to break it. And the hardest part of the assembly process for this thing was these hoses um, being that they aren't solid pieces and they're made out of rubber they were very difficult to get into the uh, holes to stay in but now something i really like about this thing is the hover conversion it has these tabs on the wheels here 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 and here and you just press in on them And you wait until you hear that, that click, and they're locked into place. And this does take three AAA batteries. There. 
and you got this button here on this on the uh, bottom there we go and you press it and it lights up there's a second time they stay on third time off first time they flash and even the flux capacitor flashes which we'll go ahead and turn these lights off real quick uh, we'll put it right back into street mode we'll turn these lights off and then that way you can see the lights uh, even better Look at how nice that looks. I just, I love it. <laughs> and it does eventually go off as you saw earlier. Um, let's go ahead and turn these lights back on. And we'll go ahead and we'll grab my other DeLoreans from uh, Hot, Beals, Hot Wheels and Hollywood Rides to uh, compare them and these will just be the DeLoreans from the first film so anyway here we have the Hot Wheels DeLorean and here we have the Hollywood Rides DeLorean if you can't tell I'm a bit of a Back to the Future DeLorean Collector. So there's the size comparisons. They're not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna have to find a place to display this. Uh, may have to go up on my desk for the time being until I get my office reorganized. So anyway, let's go ahead and pull these back. <laughs> And now let's go ahead and put Dr. Emmett Brown in the passenger seat. Sorry, Einstein, but you're getting left behind, boy. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Emmett Brown and Marty McFly inside the DeLorean time machine. And they look great. Uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with this. Um, yeah, like I said, the most difficult part was putting on the stickers and putting in the rubber hoses. Other than that, uh, it went together pretty easily. Uh, so easy a child could do it. <laughs> uh, however, children, if you're watching this, uh, which you shouldn't be, because this is not a kid's channel. This is for the adult collector. But if you're watching it with your parents, remember to have your parents put the stickers on and help you with assembly. So anyway, I've been Shannon. This has been Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.